everyone, it's Lisa, and today we are going to do something a little different for my Friday haul. I'm going to try on every pair of jeans that I have purchased in the last couple of weeks since I have really started trying to think more about what looks good on me and what looks good with the shoes I want to wear. Just being a little bit more thoughtful with my purchases. So I was just thinking, I had two pair of jeans that I am going to return, I know, and I wanna make sure I brought those up here. And I don't think I did. Okay, <laughs> here they are, they were on the kitchen counter. So I have two pair that I know, I actually already had them in the box to go back. So I know that I'm sending them back, but it's because I need the smaller size and I still think you can grasp how they look with just that size. I really liked them. If I didn't like them, I probably wouldn't show them to you, but I really liked them and I've already ordered them in a smaller size. And we've got Chanel up here. She's a little cooped out because you know I've been trying a new setup and I've actually got one, two, three cameras going on right now because I want to see which captures the best angle and to see if I can use two angles and get the best I can do for you. Now I did hear your concern about the door being dark and a lot of times I'm wearing black so I have something coming to hopefully take care of that. I moved the clothes over here because I think that was part of it too is that I think everything I had hanging was black so that didn't help okay so the first thing i want to show you is my new pillow sleep and glow asked me if i would partner again with them on this video and i said i would gladly do that because it is something that has changed can you say it changes your life when you sleep better it changes your life i have slept on this pillow every night for i don't know since my old house before we even rented a house i mean a long time i would say probably two years so i asked them if i did this video if they would send me a new pillow because i do not ever want to be without it and when we ordered one for john i didn't know if it was going to be too radical for him because he is a rigid guy he does not you know, he's just kind of, he doesn't want to try new things. He is just kind of, I like high top sneakers and I don't want to try anything else. I like this and I don't want to try anything else. So I didn't know if he was going to like it, but he does. So I don't think I'm going to be getting that pillow. And I wanted to have another one for backup because I get a lot of questions about like the pillowcase, especially those of you that said you ended up not liking it. I want to make sure that you follow the steps because it makes a difference. I remember sleeping on this pillow on top of another pillow because I had slept on two pillows almost my whole life. It's always a struggle, you know, to get the perfect stack. Speed up the adjustment period. We recommend the following plan. Nights one and two lie down in the side sleep cradles of the pillow for 15 to 30 minutes before you fall asleep. Feel the pillow material and find a comfortable body position. Okay, it comes with this pillowcase that fits the pillow. They suggest that you wash it before you put it on. That way it fits right to your pillow. They sent me the new, it's a silk blend in the rose gold. So that's what I wanted to show you is how easy it is to put on this pillow. If you want to put another pillowcase, say that you have a favorite pillowcase that you like to use, then you can put it over this one, but I recommend always using this one. Okay, you'll see that this has like an extra layer right here. This is according to your, it's according to the space that you have right here, but they have kind of like a little guideline. I am a four to six small, so I do not need the additional layer. The eight to 10, no layer, 12 to 14, add a layer, especially maybe if you're taller or bigger boned, but you can adjust that to how you feel. What you do is there's gonna be a thicker side and a smaller side. So just match up that with your pillowcase, unzip it. 
so I can see that this is the bigger side. And I'm going to just slip this right in here. <laughs> That's her for no reason, just because she's crazy. Okay, so now we will shut the pillowcase. Here it is, I love it, I love it. So you can see how smushy it is. And the concept behind this is I use this for my head to sleep on my side. That way you have this cut out that keeps you from getting the wrinkles. Hold on just a second. And I really like sleeping on this little piece right here. That's just my go-to. And I really do think that you, if you've tried it and you have it at home, which there is a money back guarantee, but if you have tried it and you feel like you don't like it and you're thinking, how can she like that pillow so much? It's because I gave it a chance. They also have a weighted blanket and they sent that to me and I loved it because I love that feeling, you guys know this, of something across my feet when I'm sleeping, but it was a little too much for John. <laughs> so it was very hard to just have it Without doubling it, it was hard to just have it on my side. But if you are in the market for that, they have a really nice weighted blanket too. So thank you to Sleeping Glow for sponsoring this part of the video. Thank you for my extra pillow. That makes me feel good. You guys know I like a backup when I really love something. And I wanted to kind of explain the pillowcase because I get a lot of questions about that. Is it hard to change? Can you machine wash it? You know, what if you want to use another one? Just slip it right over this, and I think that you will love it. This is just something I purchased because one of you guys said that it was a great thing to get if you are loving the cashmere, which I am. So I grabbed the wool and cashmere spray in cedar, freshen and deodorize. And I grabbed this because I know you don't wash those sweaters a lot, I know you can hand wash them. I will probably dry clean them, but I know that I will want to freshen them up in between. I grabbed one of those from my mom too. And then I grabbed this from the laundress also, the crease release, removes wrinkles. I've always loved the, is it downy wrinkle releaser? Little word of warning, when you are spraying that, at my old house, I was spraying it in the laundry room and we had tile floors. I didn't realize how much was going down on the floor. Went to my bedroom, came back, and took a little trip across the laundry room, and it was not pretty. And then I just got the Laundress Home Cleaning Surface Cleanser. You know what? What looks better than that? That's just such a nice label, you know, to have. I thought I would just get it and try it. So those things I wanted to tell you that I got, and I will, you will see them in my favorites or I've really got so many videos planned to do for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. I'm so excited I could just jump out of my skin. But I really have some favorites, some things that have just, I have just loved so much. So, okay, so let's get started. Let me wheel up oh, my garment rack. John put it together for me and it is from, I'm gonna wheel it. Hmm, should I put it? I think I can put this actually behind me like this because it's not all black and I'm not wearing a black shirt so I think you guys can still see okay and then one more order of business is I am going to link all of you that have done videos with my new makeup collection I hope that I do not miss anyone if I do please let me know down below so that I can link their videos but I encourage you to go watch all of their videos because it is amazing how different these few pieces the eyeshadow stick the lip liner and the lipstick look so different but so good on so many different people another thing is this morning or yesterday morning I noticed this I Will's out of school he's finished for that last semester so typically I put on lip gloss before I take him to school and then when I get back there's only a little bit left. It's the um, clear lip gloss from City Beauty. But now that I'm getting ready continuously, I noticed when I was putting on my lip liner that I had a little bit of that gloss on and it keeps the lip liner 
a little bit fresher and then I put a little bit of the lipstick on golden hour and then I just made sure I had a good amount on my wand of the Buxom Celeste and then take your wand and just touch your lips like about four times. It's just like that one little thing that brings everything together and I just think it's beautiful. And I'm starting off with these jeans and it's to prove a point or to explain myself further. So many of you suggested So Heather that I go watch her videos. I think she does a great job. I love her style, but to me, that's that's already what I was wearing. And it's not that I don't want to still wear the same style that I was wearing. I want to think about it more. Maybe instead of wearing those black jeans that come to here, get find another pair of jeans in that same color, in that same style that I can wear that come up high and fit me. It's not that I'm going to change my style I just want to put more thought into my shopping. I'm going to be more strategic and shop not so open-minded. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna just have in my mind, oh, I'll just try them, oh, I'll just try them. I'm gonna realize that high-waisted jeans look best on me. I'm gonna realize that tuck your shirt in, et cetera, et cetera. So I think Heather, so Heather, is basically my style already. Then there are other people, oh gosh, one of you suggested, oh my goodness, Alyssa Cohn, I think, or something like that. I devoured her videos. You know I love Jamari, uh, Dearly Bethany. I found another girl this morning that I was just like watching all of her videos. You will notice that's all different styles because it's not that I want someone else's style. It's just I love, they're they're helping me think clearer like i am not the shape of bethany she is five one and pear shaped but i what i'm learning from her is the thought process so i'm hoping that i can bring that out to you guys in a different way because i'm a different body shape i'm a different age different you know different climate than a lot of these girls so that is where I'm going. Today, I started out with this pair of jeans on purpose. That is because I love them. <laughs> I love them so much. They are, where did I put the tag? Where did I put the tag? They're right here. They're from Frame. I actually ordered these from the Black Friday sale. They are responsibly sourced. They are, they were $268 and I got them on sale. I remember, I don't know if it was 40% off, it was a really good sale. What did I notice about these? This, remember this from those really expensive pair of jeans that I got? Well, some of you don't like this and that's fine, but some of you do and don't want to spend that much money and to me, what is shocking about this is that you haven't seen it before. You've seen rips in the knees, you've seen rips in the butt. This is just a cut on the side. It's just another thing. To me, it's just something different and I just like it. I think it's cool and different. These are the Ultra High Rise Barrel, which I happen to like the barrel shape jeans. It just means that they cinch in at the waist and then they go out a little bit more and then they come in at your feet. It's kind of like the jeans that I used to wear in high school. Now, I ordered, I re-bought the Banana Republic belt that I showed you last Friday. I just bought it in the extra small. I returned that one. I bought a frame belt from the frame website, and I believe I bought another really cool one. I'm not sure. Seems like something might have happened when I was trying to place that order, like... Something weird happened, but I'm not sure. So I do really think that wearing a belt helps me. The only belts that I have now that are thinner and are something I can wear are this belt that I just purchased from The Gap. I went to the men's section. They did not have one black belt in the women's section that had a gold top. Well, I did not want silver. 
So I saw this, they actually have it with different buckles, but this has the matte black, and I thought that is so cool. So I'm going to try this on with you, and I want to show you how much it helps just when you do put the belt on and really cinch your waist. And these jeans already had a little bit of a cinch to them. Now this belt, you guys can probably remember when I bought it from Nordstrom, how valuable is this belt? Because you just snap it anywhere. I can't wear it with jeans because I guess I could, but I really want the, mm, you know what I mean? I really want that cinch. Okay. Another thing, when you are wearing jeans like this, if it's just too much for you, I want to show you what a blazer, just a plain oversized blazer, how much it helps with this type of outfit. This one is off of the sale rack last year at Banana Republic. It is a 38 regular. I think that it just adds to this so much and it kind of, I don't know, it's I guess it's something kind of dressy with the you know, distressed jeans really helps. And with all the jeans, I'm going to just be wearing these nude shoes. Probably just the best shoes I have bought in a long, long time. We will, when I'm going over some of my shopping and style mistakes, we will kind of go over the shoe situation. These are still so sexy, so pretty, so comfortable, have a good size heel, interesting, and will go with everything. I cannot recommend these. No wonder they make these. Look, rubber sole. No wonder they make these every year. And they do make them in the black, but I believe everywhere I looked, it was um, the black suede. And I really didn't want to get black suede right now. And the t-shirt I have on today is from AYR. You know, I love the ones I got from them that are the super cool and they have like a crew neck and they have this little cap sleeve. You buy two t-shirts, you get, I think 20% off. And then I saw this one, which is the scooper cool. So this one has the scoop neck, love the drape. I love that it's still blousy, but it tucks in just so nicely. And we're going to go over white t-shirts. We're going to do a bunch of cool stuff like that. Show you the back of these jeans. And without a doubt, these are not being returned. I love them. And I have always loved distressed jeans. I'm just going to adjust the look of them. Okay, why don't we go ahead and try on the two pair that I'm going to send back for a smaller size. The first pair is the Abercrombie and Fitch. Curve Love, the 90s straight ultra high rise. I could not remember how Abercrombie jeans run. And you know, usually if something is geared more towards younger people, I tend to get the bigger of the two sizes that I may be, but I needed the 26. We'll get a little bit of an idea. The curve. I think what they're saying here is it maybe tapers in kind of like the pinch waist jeans, which I love. So this may be even something that if you did not feel like wearing a belt, you would not have to because it's already going to cinch you in at the waist. And they do have the slit at the bottom, which is so cool for boots, anything, anything. The, the slit is just like that extra little touch so i'm going to put on my nude heels so you can see that the shape is going to be great let me turn around it's just i need it to be and i thought well maybe i should go you know they always say go to the tailor have the waist you know pulled in but i think they're too big like right here too i think just one size down is going to be perfection so these are, and they're on sale, I believe, and I just think they're so flattering. They're kind of like the rigid denim, but not in that way. Some of the Levi's I have gotten in the past were like putting on, I mean, cardboard. These are not like that. They're not rough, but they are not, 
they're kind of thicker. That's what I would say. They have a little teeny tiny bit of give, but they're thicker. So I think they're gonna give, but they're not going to stretch. Okay, yes, slim, sky high, stretch, and these are a 27. See, that's another thing. You just have to just keep trying, keep trying. These have the like raw edge, which I like. I know some of you don't. I'm sure that, matter of fact, let me see if the other ones do. Yeah, they have the raw edge too, the gray ones. But there might be some other ones, I'm not sure. The beauty is if you are like me and you have a longer torso and shorter legs or you're petite, you could always cut that off even more. I always think about that and love these. I mean, I just can't say a bad word about these jeans. They are comfortable. They are much, much of, much more of a stretchier jean, still not too thin, but just comfortable and just fabulous. Okay, now I will try on the gray ones for you just so you can see them and we'll see if, I don't know if I've tried those on yet, so we'll see if they both fit the same. Okay, the tag says 27 equals a four regular. So that's about right. I mean, oh my goodness. They just fit so good. They feel like they were made for me. Let me put my shoes on. Now with these, I think the black sandals would look good, but look at how the waist couldn't be any better. My belly button is like right there, right at the waist. I think it's a good butt. Now I have a flat butt, so I'm not gonna have that nice bubble butt that so many people do, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't care because I'm a 90s girl and I've never wanted a big butt. So, but I do know that it does make your jeans look different. So let me look at these for the first time. I mean, I just don't know how it could get any better. Hey, are these, are these like the number one so far? I think they might be. Imagine these with a really pretty blouse, like a satiny pretty blouse, or even like a cropped sweatshirt with your boots. I mean, the possibilities are endless with these jeans and the price couldn't be any better. And I think you guys would love these. These are the high-waisted, hover hiker and the size is 26. They do have the button fly, which I understand if you do or don't like it. To me, I like them both. Sometimes, you know, you wish you could just zip them up like if you're out and about, but these, these just feel so good. These are very similar. They're just straight. I think that's, you know, the skinny jean is out, so like at Gap, they said that's what replaced the skinny jean. It's just more of a straight. It doesn't hug like the bottom of your leg as much. It's just like the modern version of the skinny. This is more of a, I would say, just a straight jean, but what's good about it is the rise. Now let's try, just for the heck of it, let me try this skinny belt that. But these are just, I wanted to show them to you because they're just very, very comfortable. And I think they're a good everyday jean. If you like mother jeans, I love my Tomcats. I just, I really like mother jeans. And again, I think my favorite, I'm gonna do a video of like my must haves, like my closet must haves. And of course the black oversized blazer will be on there. Okay, then the next pair we're gonna try on. I wore these in a, an Instagram post and they are Banana Republic, the high rise slim in size 27. And they are like the old school acid wash. You know what I mean? Like I had these in, I think I had them in some different colors. I know I've had them in a black. So these very similar to the Gap come up just nicely. My belly button is like right here. 
where I think it should be. I think this is my waist, so they come up to the right spot on me. And they do have, again, the distressed hem. They're straight and they're comfortable. I think the pocket placement is good. Okay, the last pair, Citizens of Humanity, Leela, size 26, high rise, boot cut, comfort stretch, authentic vintage washes with a hint of stretch for incredible fit and feel. And what I liked about them is that the boot cut is not extreme. It's not too long. A lot of times I'll get flare or boot cut jeans and it forces me to have to wear, you know, I'll think to myself, okay, well I can just wear my platform boots or I can just wear my high heel this or whatever. These, what I liked about them is they are the perfect length for me just to wear a sensible, normal shoe that I would wear on an everyday basis. And they're not, so the length is good and they're not too flared that it kind of limits me. I think I can wear these with anything. They do fit so good and the stretch is good. But I bought some just good everyday pants to throw on, but you can dress up or you can dress down. You guys know I like that. I like to wear a kind of full pant with a bodysuit or the tank top and then just put on like a moto jacket or blazer or something on over like that. So I've got some good pants to show you and I've got lots of stuff, lots of stuff, but we'll do it little bit by little bit. And like I said, some of these I may return. After I watch this video, I always get a better, when I'm editing, I get a better feel for what looks good and what doesn't. It's just a totally different thing than looking in the mirror. One little bit of, I just saw my Uggs sitting over there. One little bit of feedback. Love the Louis Vuitton fuzzy shoes. Hate that they turn my feet black. I never thought that would bother me that bad, but it does. Love the Tory Burch. I think they are probably the prettiest but for some reason, they are hard to keep on my feet. I'm hoping that I can break those in. The Birkenstocks. I can see why you guys love Birkenstocks because of the way they fit like up on your foot. It's not a flippy floppy thing. You're not struggling to keep those on your feet. The fur ones are very nice and soft, but they're not very cushiony. It all comes back to the Uggs are my favorite. They just are. Well, hello, Bubba. I think the whole crew is going to come up here today. I was thinking that, you know, I could have purchased so many pairs of those Uggs, but I wanted to try them out for us. And I just kind of, it's one of those things I just wanted to see if I tried some other ones, if I would like them more. But the bottom line is I love the Uggs. So thank you guys so much for being here. And don't forget to check out those videos that I leave down below and subscribe to my channel because we've got some fun, exciting things to come. See you then. Bye-bye.